Steve Nash was shooting shots with his own teammates, and it led to the weirdest record in NBA history. Steve Nash, as a Hall of Fame caliber point guard in the early 2000s, won back-to-back -back MVP titles. And the very first year that Steve Nash won the MVP, he only led the league in two statistical categories. He led the NBA in assists, which means he liked to share the sugar and pass the pill and get other people involved. Certainly the sign of a great leader and a great teammate. But he also led the NBA in physical touches. See, in the 2000s, Nash and the Phoenix Suns had a close bond. And I mean real close. Because during one of his games, the Suns reporter noticed that Steve would high-five, fist bump, and even booty slap his teammates every chance he got, like, at an unhealthy level. I'm literally talking about high fives, fist bumps, and pats on the backside. Now you're probably wondering, how could I possibly know that Steve Nash led the NBA in high fives, fist bumps, and pats on the backside? Well, it just so happens there was a research team from UC Berkeley. So in 2009, the University of California, Berkeley, started tracking every game that Steve played, studying his every move because they wanted to measure if showing signs of physical enthusiasm actually led to more wins on the court. So they hired a team of researchers to watch every minute of every NBA game and make a tally mark every time a player gave a high five, a fist bump, or a pat on the backside. Until eventually, they discovered that Stevie set a record no one will ever touch. How many of you have ever had a crappy entry-level job before? Can you imagine if that was your first job? Yeah, you see this guy right here? Every time he touches one of these big, tall, sweaty guys, you can make a tally mark. Amari, how many times on average do you think Nash gives you guys high fives out there? Oh, high fives. We get high fives from Steve probably every, after every play, two, three times uh, play. So the numbers I can't even, can't even imagine. My guess is probably 173. Like 15 or 16 times. 239 is the actual answer. 239? In the first game that the intern counted for Steve Nash, he delivered 239 high fives, fist bumps, and pats on the backside. He was an absolute furnace of human connection. This man high fived his teammates 239 times per game. And if he averaged that his entire career, that means in total, Steve gave out an insane 290,000 high fives. Damn, this guy's out of hand. Now in the game of basketball where physicality is appropriate, it has been physiologically proven that you can transfer energy to another human being through physical touch. You can indeed raise someone's game with a well-placed high five, fist bump, or pat on the backside. Just to make sure I'm clear and HR compliant, I'm not telling you guys that later this afternoon you need to go around patting each other on the backside. Here's what I am telling you. I want you to get innovative and I want you to get creative and think of as many ways as possible to make the same type of emotional deposit with the two groups that should mean the most to you professionally. And that is those on your team and those that you serve, the end customers. Those should be the two most important professional groups in your life. That's those on your team and those that you serve. And I want you to get really creative on ways that you can add appropriate emotional deposits. And here's a way that you can gamify this and quantify this. And I've done this with tons of organizations in basketball and business, and it is an absolute game changer in playing better together. Here's how it works, and this is my challenge to you. It's called 10 assists. You can't put your head on your pillow at night until you know for a fact that you personally have done nothing short of 10 tangible things to add unexpected value to the two professional groups that should mean the most to you. This goes back to that concept of it's not about me, it's about you. Now, I, I, I'm willing to bet that everybody in this room, because you guys are high performers, most of you probably dish out 10 assists before the morning coffee break. But the real sign of personal influence and impact is can you make that contagious? Can you guys make that resonate with the other members of your internal teams and departments? And collectively, can we get every single person in the Acuity family to wake up with the goal of being that intentional about adding extra value. If you're willing to do that, I'm telling you, it is an absolute game changer.